Salutations, good people. Welcome back to the channel. It's Melissa. It's your girl here. How are you doing? Welcome in or welcome back. Oh, uh, let's see here today. Guess who got this box that constantly disappoints them? Oh, you constant little source of disappointment, you. We're going to open it, we're going to grade it, and we're going to talk about how we feel. And I just ripped it open. And how I feel is, I don't know. We'll talk about this. We'll take a quick look at this in just a hot second. It's aesthetically pleasing to look at when you shake it though. Just look at that, the swirly stuff. Isn't that aesthetically pleasing just to look at it? But as somebody who doesn't need to get dewy, um, because my sebaceous glands already make me dewy. <laughs> oh, Joanne. I heard you're bringing quinoa casserole and mm, Fiji water. Yeah, no. <laughs> oh, good times. It's aesthetically pleasing to look. It's a prep set and glow. Shake well. Water mist original. Shake well for an even glow. I don't need illumination. My skin illuminates by itself. Like, it's already illuminating by itself right now. I'm getting oily. And all I did was wash and moisturize my face earlier. It, it, I'm fascinated by this part. I just want to keep it just for the, just to watch the ripples. Uh oh. That is not a good idea to keep a product just because it looks interesting. Moving on. I don't feel like I'm going to get any use out of that. If any. This box is lighter than normal, but whatever. Maybe they're just like, we're going to cut out the garbage and give you some. Another iconic London product. This is a what? Plumping gloss? What is tiny? Tiny print. Oh, we girl needs new glasses. Lip pump plumping gloss in the shade Sex Kitten. I'm not a kitten, baby. I'm a full grown tiger. No, that's such a bad joke. Oh, gosh. It smells minty. Looks like it'd be a pigmented gloss. I mean, I'll rub some on the back of my hand. It's not a bad shade. I can see you popping this on. I do like an opaque dark color gloss. I said with some dark uh, lip liner. This could be fine. So it's a meh. It's not a yay, but it's a meh. Let's see what else here. Hollywood and mine, coal. Eye pencil 101 black Negro. <laughs> so sorry, sis. but in other languages, black and like Spanish and French is negra, negro. So as you can see, it does say Negro. Wait, did I see it? Did you did you see it? It does say Negro. So uh <laughs> <clears throat> I remember I made a velvety touch smooth coal eyeliner. I don't use black eyeliner like I used to. I mostly, when I put it in my waterline, I mostly use purple now or green or blue. Like, I have a whole oh, bunch of my hair is all in my I have a bunch of fun colorful eyeliners 
this is my jam especially when I'm putting on like fun eye looks and today I come on with just lipstick and moisturizer moisturizer mm. and these are LA girls gel liners uh, these and the black ones and the ones with the colorful tubes are the shockwave neon eyeliners which are so fun Ah! Pardon. Brief intermission. Boop. This type of pencil was more my mommy's jam. That's right. I said it. I said it. I, my mom was mommy monster. So here's the kicker. This <laughs> says the exact same thing. Where it's speaking in French. Col crayon pour les you same exact thing except uh and looks exactly the same I'm gonna hold them up put this one down this is actually a leftover because my mom went through like she her whole signature look was black eyeliner she would like smudge and have really beautiful black rimmed eyes and a bright red lip so and and then she would do like a a beautiful champagne or gold or sometimes a little lilac on her eyelid looks stunning on her she's the most beautiful creature on this earth and out of this earth um so yeah, they have the exact same wording on it, except and lettering. I feel like Hollywood and Vine is just an offshoot of Wet and Wild. I mean, it looks exactly the same. It looks exactly the same. This cost ninety nine cents. Just saying. I bet you that little this is gonna be like five or six dollars, like eight dollars, seven fifty. I bet you it's gonna be like some stupid price like that. When the wet and wild is ninety nine cents. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mellow tinted brow gel. Huh. I am excited. Not excited. I'm curious. Is it in a, is it dark brown? Is it in a brown? Is it brown? Please be brown. Yes, it is. It is dark brown. So, I've been trying to use up the Vitenvild um, brow gel. I hate the spoolie. It's rough. I feel like it pulls out some of my brow hairs, and I've been trying to grow back my my brow hairs, or at least grow back some a little bit. Just a little. My little babies are sparse, but you know, just trying to grow them in just a smidgen. And this might be handy, but knowing this, it might be 18 or 15 to 18 bucks. I'm going to go with 15 to 18 bucks. This is going to be overpriced. And if I like it, I don't want to re like rebuy it. That's stupid. And last but not least, because now the box is empty gonna go in the garbage. I've got the Dose of Colors Blushing Berries palette and I have to say I'm a little excited about this one. Um, excited! So boom. Yeah, oh, oh it gets smudgy real fast. Real fast. Okay. I don't. Oh no, I don't like the brush. It's too stabby. Nope. Mm -mm. It's not soft enough. Nope. But it's cute. Okay. And here's the color scheme. Let's try that again, guys. And here's the color scheme of the said palette. 
It's a very nice shiny texture. It gets smudgy super fast. But I like this packaging way better than I like the packaging they have on the Frankation palette. That one is bogus. So. I'm just swatching it. They're, the thing is, their mats are very soft. Very soft for the um, dose of colors. Um, formula. Like, even the bogus. Yeah, just me swatching the shades. The do 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 so those aren't bad I'm slightly excited slightly not full tilt boogie but slightly slightly excited to play with this um, I like an all matte look I just have to be in the mood for it so oh, that's the one takeaway is like look how smudgy that is Oh, that's just showing all the dirty laundry in my room. <laughs> Very highly reflective. Um, showing what a mess the other opposite side of my room is. Mm -hmm. Very messy. <laughs> but you know what? I'm real. I'm loving my real life here. But it's, it's very smudgy. But I like the palette. Whoa. It's definitely got some... It's definitely pigmented. So... Okay. And here are the swatches again. So let's see what exactly this sap sucker cost. I know this is expensive. I know it's like 30 bucks or something for five shadows. Well, considering a single shadow, like the one of their blockbuster shadows, like 20, 18 or 20 bucks, I'm like, <laughs> they better be freaking magical. Magical. Okay, let's, where's that dang old card? Ah, here it is. I was like, where is it? Where is it? Let me get a tissue. Okay. Well, barely took anything off. Okay. So, let me get my phone because I have my calculator on there. Okay. Oh, hell no. No. Oh, no. That's crazy. So the Dose of Colors palette is $32. Now, oh, I had my part changed from my, my right to my left. From Yeah, because my part was going this way, so now I have it on my, my left side. It's taking some adjustment because my hair just doesn't want to lay down. Yeah, it just doesn't want to be, doesn't want to do right right now. But it looks nice. Uh, okay this no so I knew it was going to be expensive so the I mean the frontcation palette's 55 bucks and I have the dose of colors I love set e collaboration palette like I guess I, I don't even watch her channel but I own two products that she's collabed with, one, the one from ColourPop and the one with those colors. That's a six pan palette and that one was $35. So you mean to tell me for three extra dollars you added another pan? It's a six pan. I don't even have it. I can't even reach it right now. It's a super cute palette with like little palm trees and stuff on it. It's beautiful. The reason I want it, it had this pop of green in it. Same thing with that damn ColourPop palette. It just had this really pretty pop of green in it. I'm like, this is how they're getting us. Remember like two years ago, it was like neutrals with a pop of blue and then all of a sudden it was like green or teal and they started like popping that in like, oh, it's colorful. We give you some variety. It's a pop of teal. Lies. So $32 for the palette. Let me pull my calculator back up. Let me shut up. So 32 bucks for the palette. That Iconic London Prep Set and Glow Spray, $29. The Iconic London Plumping Gloss, $26 for gloss? That's, that's eight more dollars than a, uh, the Fenty Gloss Bomb I own. No, most of my gloss I've purchased is, l is under $4 other than my Gloss Bomb. 
what I mean I've I've gotten the Dominic Cosmetics lemonade or the sweet peach tea gloss that's like 17 bucks and then I forgot how much the Alamada Cosmetics gloss cost but most of the glosses I've purchased for myself are under five dollars that's crazy well except for the Fenty one I purchased the Fenty gloss balm the lip luminizer oh I love that one I kind of want that mini set but I'm not gonna buy it unless I get it for the stuff stuff then I'd be excited for it. Okay. The mellow tinted brow. I was right. I said this had to be $15 to like $18. $16 for that brow gel. Bogus. It should be like five bucks. Six bucks maybe. Eight minimum. And that funky ass eye pencil that looks exactly like the wet and wild I held up. Seven whole dollars. Seven whole dollars. So currently, this brings my box to $110 even. As you can see, it is 10.58 uh, a.m. as I film this. So, I know, I'm normally not a morning person. <laughs> I had to work earlier. So, you know, never get sleep, never rest. Gotta work, gotta make that money. Gotta make that money. Gotta keep that rent. Got to keep that roof over my head, you know? So, oh, my, my hair just sticking up like a little cockatoo. Okay. It's just doing a thing. Whatever. Whatever. This is some bullshit, though. You mean to tell me? I got an eyeshadow palette that cost $32. And I, I don't want to talk because I have dropped serious money on one eyeshadow palette. I mean, I own some high-end stuff. It, it's I've seen, I've showed it on my channel before. It's I I own Pat McGrath. I own Natasha Denona. I mean, um, I am I am I trying to justify this? I'm upset the fact that for three more dollars they could have just added on one more shade like you made a six pan palette thirty five dollars this is thirty two for three more dollars you could have just added in a six shade like a deeper purple in between this color let me put this down between this color and the black berry color like you could have put in a deeper purple and we could have this would have been bomb or a shimmer you could have put a shimmer in there that's all i'm saying or satin some people hate satin shadows. I like them every once in a blue moon. So, yeah. That should cry. <laughs> so, this is ridiculous. Introducing the bigger boxy charm. And I, I forgot which video I read this in, but how we got how I got the email and I read you exactly what my email is so now they put the boxy charm info I'll hold that up for you if you want to see it put the info on the card about hey we've got more customization more options more choices value now receive five beauty press over 125 for only 25 bucks a month so they've gone up four bucks we talked about this before now you can customize so now receive foundation or concealer products matched to your skin tone as if you went to the store swatch the different shades of the complexion blister pack that we will send you in your november boxy hell to the no we are not going to no 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 i do not want my subscription box to send me foundation and concealer i've gotten that in I got a Marc Jacobs um, beauty foundation. It was a shameless foundation that I wore for most of this year because I refused to buy foundation. I wore it for most of the year and it wasn't really a match, but you got to finagle it. I finagled it to make it work for me because obviously take a look. My hand does not match my face. Uh, my forearm definitely doesn't match my face. My face and my neck don't exactly match. Who trying to call me? Call back later. Um, 
So it was just like a little finagling to make it all work. A little powder and bada bing bada boom. You, you know, you made it work. I made it work. And that's enough. That's enough. So this is redonkulous. This is crazy. Mmm. Uh, mmm. Mmm. So now they're custom custom So now they're doing like customization like Ipsy has like the add-ons and you can you know go into the little Ipsy store and pick from three dollars to twelve dollars is the like the maximum. But now they're saying from three to eighteen. So they raised it up. But I had some really nice add-ons in the from the Ipsy box, uh little Ipsy store adding into my box. So I don't know, Boxy, you trying to step your game up, but you've been failing since June of 2018. So, oh, and I think I have was it? Um, it has a 17 in the corner, so I must have box variation number 17. Um, yeah, no. So we're 22 minutes in. Let me just tell you, this whole debacle just really pissed me off. The fact that, except for the name of the shade for the Wet n Wild, and I can't turn it. I'm not. I don't feel like taking out the package because this was my mom's. But um, baby's got black. It's noir Embrace or embrace but it's all the same it looks exactly like it except for a few different things I mean net weight is the same it's exactly the same exactly the same uh, are we getting crafty here uh, Mark Wins makers of wet and wild are we do you guys own this Hollywood and Vine. When I think of Hollywood and Vine, obviously it's the area in California, but also I think of um, Tom Waits. He has like a song. Hollywood and Vine or like something heart attack. I don't know. I love Tom Waits music though. <laughs> A good musician guys don't don't knock it till you try it um yeah it looks exactly the same and i am disappointed that is like the surcharging like that is just insanity oh i love this green see i have all the fun i don't know what i just rubbed off but whatever the gloss smells minty i like that smell though I have all the fun eyeliner shades and that's what I like. Give me fun eyeliner shades and colorful mascara. I have a problem, obviously. Um, <laughs> yeah, what is this? Oh yeah, more LA Girl. I, when I say I love these, I literally and I'm using the word literally actually correctly I have the black brown I can't find that pencil I don't think they make it in the LA glide uh, LA girl gel glide or glide gel liner anymore oh my gosh it is so good it's a black brown um, liner and it is actually a stub it is about this big I'm using it up until it just runs out it's so good these are really good and they're just like $2.99 maybe $3.99 max I know the neon ones are like four like $3.99 $4.99 so they're slightly more expensive expensive but this is what I prefer from 99 cents to like five dollar eyeliners and this is my jam these are my jam I go through these my purple one is about this one like it's, an, it's the I think is it purple 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 royale or purple no not purple rain I'm pretty sure it's like 
Purple Royale or something like that. Or... No, that's Blue Royale. Purple Paradise or Paradise Purple. So I have this and it's, it's about here now. And I recently opened it and it, I love it. I love it. So I really love this kind of thing. So it's exciting. For yeah, I know. I, I'm so weird. It's exciting. It's like, what is wrong with you, girl? I'm like, it's fun. I'm actually gonna put this in my everyday makeup bag because I want to try doing something with the yellow. Yay! Actually, that'd be a really cool idea if I was gonna do makeup inspired by my shirt. So this palette with this liner actually would be Washington uh, Redskins hometown team. Oop, oop. Uh, I can't find my Ravens T-shirt, but. Go, go hometown. I'm probably in the minority here. <laughs> I'm always in the minority here. <laughs> but, um, but, um, yeah, just saying. So let's grade this some bitch. Okay, hang on. Let me put these down. So, this is just aesthetically pleasing to look at, but it's about $30. This is a no. that overpriced eyeliner that should be 99 cents a buck 50 max seven dollars big flip flop and flim flam and no i'm gonna go with yes to the palette yes to the gloss no on principle for the fact that this cost $16 for the eyebrow gel. So all in all, just like we say, Poxy Charm is like America, a nation in the middle. It's like a C student. I'm going to give this overall box a 70. So it says it's literally a C student right in the middle. And you get a 70 because the palette saves that ass. So it's just like, oh my god, I didn't know. It's basically when you're taking a test, don't ever leave your kids, young people. Little tip here from a perpetual college student, perpetual student, is never leave your test blank. Always put something in it. Okay. Sometimes some teachers, some people will have something on you if you they see you made an effort and you put something in it. A math problem if it's English or if it's something where you have to write something in it. Write something in there. Explain. I didn't get it or explain how you think this would work or whatever the test you're taking Well, science and it's proofs it's it's either yay or nay it's either your gram stain is negative or positive you either have a, a positive gram or a negative gram you know or you're doing another type of stain and microbiology like you you're you know your your test is going to be con conclusive and if it's inconclusive that means you've done it wrong and you've got to go back all through the steps all that grams iodine you got to go back through all that jazz and go through and redo the whole thing for a spore stain you know just check to see if you've got e coli or if you've got gram positive gram negative all that fun stuff if you've got oh my god that really big word with spore in it so spange oh, something something spangle spore <laughs> I, and I love my and I loved microbiology. It's really actually I'm a weirdo. It actually is kind of fun. Um, I love me some, I love me some biology and science. It's chemistry I'm gonna loathe taking and calculus. Ugh. But anywho, it's it's either yay or nay. Don't leave your test blank. That's the moral of the story, kids. Don't leave your test blank. Put something in there. Don't be like I don't know. I like puppies. God bless Merca. Write something of substance in there, okay? That's, write something of substance. That's what I'm saying. Or, or if you think you know the answer, go ahead and write it down and then explain yourself. Explain why you think that's the answer. That's all I'm saying. But back to this little box. It's a nation in the middle. It's a C. It's a legitimate 70%. I don't think I rated the Ipsy Glam Bag. I am going to give that... It's a D. It doesn't matriculate. At least with the boxy, it it passed. It made it to the next grade. It made it to the next semester. So it matriculates. But 
Just threw my liner. Oh, where'd she go? Where'd you go? It, oh, it's under my foot. It's safe. So, as long as I don't crush it. It's just subpar. And I feel like if you're going to make me pay all this extra money, shouldn't it be fantastic? That's all I'm saying. It should be fantabulous. But it's not. And it's just a nation in the middle and it's depressing. And I'm giving by, I was like, I'm going to give it one more month. I'm going to give it to the end of the year. That's it. It's a wrap. We're already almost in the midpoint of October. So we're going to just ride this on out until the new year. And we're going to pray and hope that it's either stepped it up with, I'm not upgrading to Bobsky Premium. I don't know if I want to keep anything at this point. I mean, it's extra expenses that I don't want to spend or I could take if I combined all the money that I do spend on these things, I'm like, I could take this and just buy makeup that I want for the price of the boxes that I'm purchasing. But then I was like, oh no, because my, I'm not saying my spending would be unchecked or just go unabated. Like, whoo, money, make it rain, make it rain, make it rain, make it rain. Like, no. <laughs> I'm just saying, it kind of, I did do a video where it said like some of these subscription boxes it helps curb the temptation for me because I'm like I know something's coming like you know it's coming just like a period <laughs> just like the red bottle and flies into town as my mom uh, named it for me <laughs> comes into town once a month so you know it's coming <laughs> And you're just like, you anticipate. You're like, okay, it's going to be great. I want to get something cool or something I'm going to be able to use. That has not been the case lately with some of these boxes. They're so very hit or miss. And so now with this, I just want to give it a couple months, like at least the rest of the year to try with the customization. Hoping that, oh, that if I'm able to choose one or two products in my box, and then they're, uh, with, especially with Ipsy, they're going to be customizing around the options you pick. I think Boxy is going to be doing that as well. So customize around those options that you choose. And then you get to choose something else. And blah, 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 blah. But I'm hoping that it gets better. If not, well, then New Year is New Year, new me. New hair, new ha. So I would be. <laughs> going bye bye to the subscription life like be like deuces like, peace easy like I don't want to deal with it you know so 70% it's a no other than it's aesthetically pleasing and oh it, it's got it smells like perfume old lady perfume at that and I, uh, that's being disrespectful and I love old ladies except for the mean racist evil ones well, oh that's got a heavy perfumey scent that's that's quite aromatic I mean when in doubt I mean I guess I could turn it into air freshener just I will find a way to multi-purpose my stuff if I can't I need to learn how to make one of these things in a bottle so I could just do this all day with myself. I could entertain myself all day watching this. That says something about me. <laughs> but yeah. At least this palette is, it shows up and it looks like it's actually going to work. This palette I'm just wondering about from the Ipsy box. Yeah, I can't justify that, uh, overpriced brow gel, the overpriced pencil liner for seven freaking dollars and $26 gloss again Fenty the original gloss bomb it's good 
Vets and Vials be acting a monkey fool, but this gloss is also very good. I have a CoverGirl Kitty Cat gloss. Very good. $3.99. $2.99 for that. And then my Alamara Cosmetics one that I got in a boxy. Like, it's fun. Like, gloss. Uh, I got this as a gift from my friend Shmee. The Too Faced Tutti Fruity Gloss. And who gives a fig? Again, I love me a good pick. This is in my color wheelhouse. Like, ah. Uh, mm. Even though I'm already wearing this color, it just makes my lips even shinier. And I like it. I like it. And it smells nice. So. It's nice and it does have a nice like fruit scent. It's not too strong for me. It's a comfort lip glaze. Essentially it's a lip gloss, okay? That's the, be fancy all you want. Lip glaze. I've got gloss galore that I <laughs> I've got gloss galore that I adore. I made a funny. I made a rhyme. Nice sparkly glosses. A buck. Like there you go. $26 for a gloss. I could buy a lot of lipstick with that. I could buy a lot of things with 26 bucks right now. Just saying. So, I mean, there's a nice gloss. It, I rubbed it off on the back of my hand on something. There's my beautiful green swatch. Whatever. Gloss. Nice glittery golden pinky gloss over a nice red or burgundy lip liner. Good to go. Dollar ninety nine. Twenty six dollars. Besides, I don't need plumper lips. I actually have fine, fully formed lips. That's the way the good Lord made them. Genetics. My mouth is just like how my family has them. So pretty decent. Just saying. All right, guys. Thank you for watching this 40 minute video for an unbox thing. Woo! If you made it, thank you. So, it's a box in the middle. It's a 70 percenter. <laughs> it's a 70 percent. Uh, the forecast shows it's a 70 percent chance of this sucks. <laughs> it's like 70 percent chance of this sucks. Six sucks so bad. It's ridiculous that this product kind of blows chunks. <laughs> this box is just meh. You know, it doesn't give you that, like, oh, it's so excited. It's disappointing. But I'm going to hang in there for the rest of the year. And then after that, if I don't like what I see, cutting the, cut the strings. So, if you could all please do me a solid, be good to yourself, be good to one another, and please, I implore you to make smart choices. You'll thank me for it, I promise, you really will. And, peace easy. Thank you so much for watching, I will see you in the next video, which will be coming up very soon. And you guys have a wonderful day. Bye.